What happens when two Venus flytraps have a tug of war? Will they give up? Will they try harder to close their mouths? Or even rip each other apart? Well, seeing as they close with 6 psi of pressure, it could actually happen. So to test it out, we have a tiny rope attached to their teeth while we feed them. And to make it even more interesting, we're also going to test 4 unique fly traps and let the winner battle a super worm. Now, our smallest flytrap is going against a flytrap with no teeth at all. And my guess is that the one without teeth will win. That's because flytrap's teeth, which are called cilia, are actually quite soft and bend pretty easily. But hey, you never know with these plants. They always surprise me. And if you remember from our previous videos, small fly traps are some of the most powerful ones around. Yet, it doesn't look like Red Bull over here is doing too well. After closing his trap, he starts sealing his mouth, which is when he also starts secreting those acids to digest his food. But seeing as both him and Scarlet Team are pulling against each other while sealing, sooner or later, something will happen. And seeing as Scarlet Team is pulling Red Bull completely sideways, I think she's won this one. Scarlet Team is about to let go. happened wow that's crazy i know some of you might think i touched red bull but i promise you i didn't he is extremely powerful so powerful in fact that even if he goes up against DCXL, the biggest flytrap in our collection, I think he would probably beat him. But seeing as my last guess was completely wrong, DCXL will end up winning or something. But to be fair, their tug of war is very close. You see, I did three tug of wars for each pair of plants, so that the results were fair, and so that I could show you guys the best footage. And for all of our plants, the results were always the same except for these two. Their first two tug of wars are a stalemate. After three hours of them pulling, my phone keeps running out of storage and nothing even happens. And it isn't until their third and final tug of war that we finally see a winner. Now, it is incredible to see how they literally pulled against each other. It even seems like they tug every now and then. Just rewatch that last clip if you didn't see what I'm talking about. But when it comes to this last pull, I think DCXL was at a disadvantage. I moved this trap out of the way so that Red Bull could pull without it stopping him. But that then means that DCXL can't pull to the left like we've been seeing, which basically gives Red Bull the win. However, that doesn't change how close these two are. He is evenly matched to Red Bull, even though he is like three times bigger. It happened and I wasn't even here. <laughs> the small one won, that's crazy. But does being equal to Red Bull mean that he will also beat Scarletine? I mean, I've been wrong with my guesses twice now, but I don't think size matters. I still think small, sharp teeth that don't bend will win. I had really high hopes about the short, sharp teeth. But after seeing that, I'm really not sure. Now it might not seem like it, but we actually need to feed our plants to do this tug of war. You see, these trigger hairs are how the plants tell if there's something in their mouth. So if it closes and whatever they're closed on doesn't keep moving their trigger hairs, they will just open back up because they'll think nothing is actually there. So not only does feeding them make sure they seal and pull against each other, but it also gives them a reward for all the hard work they're doing, even if I need to keep on putting these crickets back into their mouths. Stay. Good cricket. You can actually see that seal quite well in this tug of war, especially with Scarletine here. She closes up those gaps that are made quite easily, but just like her first tug of war, she doesn't seem to have what it takes. Regardless of how bad I want small sharp teeth to work against the bigger fly traps. 
However, I might not actually be too wrong about short, sharp teeth doing well, because Harmony basically has claws. I swear these things feel like toothpicks, and if anyone can win all their tug of wars, it's got to be her. She might even be tough enough to rip open Red Bull, who has been doing the best so far. Yet, seeing as DCXL just beat Scarleteen, Let's see how he can deal with this deformed flytrap. That's crazy, that's like a hook. Looking back at it, I didn't know that this would be one of the longest and toughest tug of wars in this video. Of course, trying to feed two flytraps at once isn't easy and the ropes keep falling off, but once I fix that, we see some incredible movements from both of these plants. Harmony starts off well with a really big tug away from DCXL, and those claw teeth help her so much in keeping a solid grip. However, after an hour, she then starts to slow down. And of course, this is because DCXL has started to put his weight into it. He pulls her back to where they started out, and for the next hour, they just keep pulling the rope tighter and tighter. And after yet another hour, this rope getting tighter means one thing. DCXL's soft teeth are starting to lose grip. And seeing as Harmony has those claws, she is easily able to hold on with no problem at all and beat the biggest flytrap in this tug of war. Oh, it actually happened. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that one is a beast. And if anyone's gonna rip it apart, wow. And seeing as Harmony has to be the greatest competitor in this tug of war, I can't wait to see her go up against Red Bull, who has won everything so far. But until that, let's see how she handles Scarletine, who has very similar teeth to her. That's gonna be a tough fight. They have very similar teeth. Now I must have had an aneurysm or something because I completely forgot that Scarletine wasn't doing too well over the weeks of filming this. But to be fair, this is probably her best tug of war. For the first time in this video, she actually manages to pull her competition quite a bit while sealing her trap. But because she moves upwards while doing it, that only locks the rope tighter into Harmony's claws. Harmony is such a beast. The way that she closes and those little teeth of hers, she's literally a cheat code. That is crazy. If we find a plant that is like able to match her, like you can see she's about to rip there. That's crazy. But now with two wins under her teeth, the only plant who matches that score is Red Bull. Yet to be honest, I don't think he stands a chance against her. I think she's our winner to be honest, but who knows, we might be surprised, the smaller trap might give us a bit more force than this big one. This time, I wasn't having an aneurysm. Red Bull is our smallest trap, and because of that, he has better leverage than any other plant in this tug of war. But seeing as Harmony has rock hard claws to get through, it will probably go her way. As we can see, Red Bull does an incredible job at pulling Harmony, but her low traps and tough teeth means that she barely moves, and therefore, Red Bull starts turning sideways. Now, now, just like his battle with DCXL, if he holds on and does nothing, we could end up with another stalemate. But seeing as he isn't a quitter, he has one more tug at the rope, which spells his undoing. It's literally holding on by a thread. Wow. Red Bull, you're definitely a fighter. And once again, Harmony is just insane. Wow. That is crazy. Now before we see if Harmony can hold back a superworm, Karen asked me a very interesting question. Seeing as none of the flytraps could hold back Harmony, so none of them got ripped apart, would she rip herself apart if she had a tug of war with herself? Well luckily enough, these two traps are close enough together that I can put the rope on her and test it out. And guys, this tug of war is fascinating. From the moment this tug of war starts, this trap folds over itself. Sometimes flytraps just do this, especially the flytraps with shorter teeth, but there is so much tension inside of this rope that the force of it is actually holding the edge of the trap open just enough 
that this side of the trap can slide down further and further, which only means she pulls harder. Yet, after a few hours of this, this trap stops because the other one starts to pull back against it. Now, this is obviously a stalemate, but this intense battle also answers the other question we had. She's actually like started to rip herself apart. Look at that. But even up here, it's, it's been torn. You can see how she's already started digesting with these acids here. But look at that. This leaf is like half a leaf, look. Wow. Now seeing as Harmony is strong enough to rip herself to pieces, Let's give her something to get all that used up energy back and see how she handles something as strong as a super worm. These guys love wriggling around and have very tough skin, but to be honest, I think Harmony will easily hold this guy back. Her traps close pretty slow, so this guy can move around for quite a while before anything really happens. But the moment those teeth reach his body, he is clamped in there and cannot escape. The first thing he does, like most bugs, is continue walking forward, or even try to push his way out. But seeing as those claws point inwards, he won't be able to get past them, which is when he tries all reliable, backing it up. This usually works for big bugs in most traps because their body is literally still sticking out of the trap, but in this case, those same claws are able to hold him back. In fact, even though this guy can get some of his paws out, they aren't strong enough to pull himself past Harmony's claws which are holding him in. However, this is when I remember the secret thing that superworms have. I don't know if these are more paws, or actually claws back here, but they use this to hold on to things. And in this case, he's using it to try and pull himself out. However, I don't think it is enough. I mean, even when Harmony was being pulled by every other flytrap, she barely moved. So I'm not surprised that this superworm can't escape. And like I mentioned earlier, the more and more he struggles to get out, the more he hits those trigger hairs, which means that Harmony only closes her traps tighter and tighter. However, as Harmony squeezes around his body, he's able to push against it and get his paws out of there. And in the end, our strongest fly trap still can't hold back one of the strongest bugs. Please consider subscribing and share this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next one.